We had a little accident with the ketchup bottle. Oh, and uh, don't worry, they're they're all asleep. I don't. They they might not wake up for a while, but you know, they're all they're all asleep. With their eyes opened. Skillet. This is the worst nightmare of a high school graduate, college, with a 100% chance of homework. Now I'm not gonna sit here and lie to you. I'm in my second week of college and I'm already stressed out about assignments. And I'm not talking about professors spamming me with notifications saying, All right, class, all assignments that I have given you in the span of 24 hours are due by 11.59 p.m. tonight. I'm talking about a whole ass syllabus. And to be honest, I, I, I can't complain. In my opinion, it makes things a whole lot easier despite the constant worries of assignments being due. Plus, I only have one class that I actually have to show up for. It's online, and I only have to be there for about three hours. Sheesh, these next few months finna be a breeze, is what I thought. But I could be right though. Low-key college actually makes sense. Like if your class is asynchronous, meaning you don't have to show up at all, then you can just look at the syllabus for what you have to do for that particular class. But to be fair, right? I had no idea if they were actually trying to do this in high school. Cause when they handed me that syllabus for environmental science, for the life of me, I could not understand it. Better yet, all I remember seeing on that syllabus was how the teacher graded work based on accuracy. And the workload back then was so random that it basically popped out of nowhere, bruh. It's like the teachers woke up and decided, hmm, I might make them do a standardized test, then make it worth 100% of their grade. And if they fail, they can't redo it. <laughs> Delightfully devilish, Seymour. Like, there's no possible way that they did this on a Monday or Friday. Oh, wait, they did and they're still doing it. But to compare both high school and college, I'd say college makes a lot more sense than high school. Cause they make it seem like they taught you the stuff you're going to learn in college, when in reality, college is like a whole new world. Like, it, like it's completely different than high school. And yeah, some of what you learned in high school starts to pay off at some point, but then you try to connect some of the other stuff that you learned into an entirely new subject in college, and it just doesn't make sense. For example, I'm doing my homework for my mathematical ideas course, right? And there was a shit ton of questions about sets, equivalent sets, finite sets, infinite sets, and I'm sitting here like, what is this alien language? All I know is the quadratic formula. I've never heard of this type of math. They did not prepare me for this. What type of sets are they talking about? Are they talking about a tea set, a Lego set, a play set? What the heck is this? They're talking about sets of carrots? What is this? And I thought geometry and trigonometry didn't make any sense, but this is worse. Who came up with this? And they're talking about mathematical ideas. This is a bad idea for an equation. I can't wrap my mind about this. I am perplexed. This got my mind racing. I'm aiming for a 100. I don't even know the answer to question one. Man, I might as well just do this tomorrow, bro. Nah, that ain't even a move. I'm trying to graduate and get my math credits out the way so I can get my associates. Matter of fact, let me grab photo and see if they can come through. No, God! No, God, please, no! 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 Well, I'll be damned. Photomath can't even solve this. And you already know what it is, bro. If Photomath can't solve it, no one can solve it. And mind you, I took trigonometry, algebra 2, geometry, and none of those classes taught me anything remotely close to those problems. Like, what the fuck are sets, my guy? What are they? Tell me. Please. But then again, they tried their best to prepare me for college. And I thank them for that. But there's one thing that I wish I'd learned in high school, though. How to do fucking taxes. I swear to God, they never even bothered to teach us that. Skillet!